Here we're going to set up and demonstrate how we measure the partial discharge inception voltage. Crystal has got a 10 horsepower, 1200 RPM, totally enclosed, fan cooled, new motor that she's going to test. And Crystal is going to uh, demonstrate how such a test is performed. In front of her, she's pointing now at a Baker surge tester. This will apply the voltage to the motor. And she'll be raising the voltage until we achieve the uh, partial discharge. Over here, we have a, an oscilloscope at the top. And it's got two, two charts. One the yellow line, the upper line, is measuring the voltage level and the green line is measuring the response. We're going to raise the voltage until we get a response that indicates partial discharges occurring. You have to look at Watch it. very carefully at the graph. She's going to raise the voltage and you'll start to see some activity there. That's indicating partial discharge is occurring. So Crystal is raising the voltage from the Baker surge tester and we're showing the voltage level and the response on the oscilloscope as this test is occurring. Keep your eyes on the green line, the lower line, and we'll make a note when we reach uh, the partial discharge. There we go. We're starting to see the activity. So the test has stopped and we now check the voltage. This is a typical partial discharge response we captured in the green signal. And it's happening at the lowest um, point of the yellow signal, which tells you the level of the search pulsing signals. In the lower left corner is reading a voltage and that number times 2000 was the voltage being applied and when partial discharge was beginning.